welcome back to my channel yes she's here um, i think this is the first time i'm showing my baby's face here on the my baby girl's face on this channel so yeah so in this video i'm going to be showing you how i make okra uh dry okra which is called obp in Igbo language if you grow up in um like in anambra i don't know what other parts of nigeria call it but we call it obb that time we call it ofe obb whenever we want to have it it's a dry okra so it's made of okra like it's not a spoiled okra maybe when you have enough okra at home and you don't know what to do with it you just chop it and dry it and sun dry them then uh, blend them that is how the okra is made so i got this okra the other day that uh, i did not use and i don't want to leave it to spoil and it's summer here almost fall autumn i was like oh there's enough sun to dry this let me just go ahead and cut this and dry them and use it to make this obb soup that i've been craving for so i'm going to be enjoying mixing it with a uh, obono so i'm going to make it the dry okra and obono soup and i decided to show you guys so i hope you enjoy this video i'm going to show you the rest of the ingredients i'm going to be using to prepare this so let's get to it chris say hi hi my name is christina <laughs> So these are the ingredients I'm going to be using for this recipe. Here I have uh, cat, smoked catfish, which I'm going to be adding some salt into it. It's already in the hot water because I love to use hot water to wash my uh, smoked fish. So here I have the okra, obibi, which is called obibi in, a, in my own part of Igbo. I have some crayfish here, non-blend, you can use blended one, okay. Have some salt here. This is my obono, the obono I'm going to be using and this is onion. I'm going to be using this onion to cook the meat and to cook the soup as well. So I have this little onion called charrot. You can use any onion of your choice, okay? I have some bitter leaf here. I'm going to be using bitter leaf for this recipe as well. And in here I have my no cube and fresh pepper. You can use any pepper of your choice. And lastly, I have um, palm oil which I'm going to be using. So these are the ingredients I'm going to be combining here. Here is beef and some cow, cow leg. I don't know if I can call it cow leg or just cow skin, but I'm going to be using these two mixture of meat to make the soup. So guys, now let's get to it. So guys, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put all uh, the meat is already washed, okay? So I'm going to season the meat now with uh, some onion and um, no cube and salt as well so just add the amount you want to test or whichever one you want okay so i'm going to add my no cube inside add just a little bit of water because i need the water the cow skin to be cooked i'm not adding too much you can choose not to add sometimes if i'm using only beef i'm not going to be adding much water but i'm adding mm. more of half cup because you need to cook the cow skin so i'm going to put the lid on now and i'm going to allow this to cook especially until this cow skin is cooked but if i notice that the meat beef is cooked and the cow skin is a little bit strong i will remove the beef and uh, continue cooking the cow skin so this is another thing i love doing with the okra to make it easy to blend or to use a mortar that olden days we normally use mortar to to break it down the local mortar so but right now i'm going to be blending them with my blender so for them to be well blended um you know i'm going to roast them a little bit here so i'm just going to do this for a couple of minutes i'm going to and uh, transfer them into my blender and blend them to powder then i'll bring you back so i'm done blending them i just because the okra is not very very dry this is why i still have some okra piece but it's not a problem what i needed to do is to blend a uh, to break them so yeah i blend them together with the crayfish you can blend your own to more powdered uh texture okay whichever way you want it but i'm going to stop here so guys into my pot after cooking the meat i'm going to add about three tablespoons full of red oil you can add more red oil and you can also add less oil 
So after adding the oil, I'm going to allow it to melt completely and heat up a little bit, not bleach, just heat up a little. So I'm adding the onion now and I'm going to saute the onion for a couple of minutes before adding the obono inside. So after about 2 to 3 minutes, I'm going to add my blended obono into the oil and onion. I'm going to make sure that all the lumps from the obono is melted. So go ahead and melt it. This is going to take me about a couple of seconds, not even up to a minute. So when I'm done melting the obono, I'm going to add the dry okra inside. So after I've added the dry okra, I'm going to mix them together. I'm doing this on a low heat, okay? Don't use high heat. So this take me just about a minute to mix everything. Just make sure that everything is well combined before you start adding your meat stock or water inside. So here I'm adding the meat stock inside the soup. As you can see, I don't have enough meat stock, to, so I'm going to be using uh, fresh water as well. And I'm not going to be adding all the meat because I'm going to be using part of the meat for my stew. So go ahead and add the meat, add the fish. The crayfish is already inside. Add the stock fish, add everything you're using to cook the meat at this point, okay? And give them a good stir, like a very good stir. So after I'm done stirring the meat in, I'm going to throw another half of the pepper, add nut cube, I'm using just one nut cube inside. So I'm going to add the dry fish at this point, then a little bit of salt. So just correct the seasoning as you prefer, okay? So I'm giving them another quick stir to combine all the ingredients before adding the fresh water into it but if you have enough stock you don't have to add the water okay so i personally i don't like my obono okra soup to be too thick so this is why i'm adding the water so i'm going to, after that i'm going to stir everything and cover them halfway and before that i'm going to test if the the season like the flavor the salt and the seasoning i added is enough which my own is perfect so i'm going to cover it halfway you can decide to leave it open if that is what you want for five minutes okay so this is after five minutes guys and just giving it another quick stir to make sure that they are not um burning under so and make sure you're cooking this on a low heat okay so now i'm going to add my fresh bitter leaf inside if you don't have bitter leaf or you don't have fresh one you can use dry one but if you don't have bitter leaf at all you can use any vegetable of your choice spinach or pumpkin any vegetable of your choice okay just add it at this time and give that a quick stir so after stirring them i'm going to allow them to simmer for another two to three minutes you can cook yours for more than that okay then the soup is well cooked guys this soup will remind you like i don't know how to explain you need to try this soup, okay because this soup is so delicious it brought back a lot of memories like <laughs> a lot of childhood memories so I hope you give this soup a try. Thank you for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. God bless you. Bye.